Hey, hey, hello, welcome on my channel, Super Two Channel. I'm gonna do Twin Flame Soulmate 1111, the soul connections, the very psychic, intuitive um, reading uh, for all of you because we are already in age of Aquarius and we know that a lot of souls are coming into union. Whatever the label you want to put it, Soulmate or Twin Flame, but I'm definitely picking up for the peoples who are in spiritual and soul connection with someone, okay? So let's see what is happening with you then i will pick up the energies of your divine masculine uh, this is a divine feminine energy so you know better if you are in a divine feminine energy or you are in a divine masculine energy because we all carrying these two equals energy but my intentions are this is you my viewers and then i will pick up the person who is absent here that you're inquiring about uh, okay the divine masculine their energy that what are they feeling and what is coming next what are the action they are taking and what will happen in the union and when will it happen if possibly i can tell it but the time is fully wet okay so keep in mind this is a general reading take what resonate if it resonate is whoever needed the people who need to uh, resonate with this if this is your reading just like share and subscribe my channel hit the notification bell but if it's not your story it's okay you may be on the wrong place of the youtube okay so let's see um, you can also get a personal reading from me. Check out the description box. You can also join me on Instagram for more fun. Let's see. My viewers, what's, what's your energy? Especially the Divine Feminines. Let's see what's happening right now in this soul journey. What are you going through right now? What are you feeling right now? The soulmate. Oh, number 41. You really want to be in union with your soulmate. Oh, how sweet. You're feeling your soul. Mate, you feel you're already for some of you because four plus one five this could be significant for a lot of you one and four number is important we have 41 so a lot of you you already feel it this person is coming you're coming into union love is blossoming i'm also seeing that you can see that the this this pigeon is is definitely holding the key so yeah so this person you know that your soulmate has the key to your heart oh how sweet you're waiting for the union you're waiting for this person to come and you can you you're missing them you're longing for them you're you're praying for them we also have the patience number 16 yeah you're being patient six plus one seven it's a spirit it's a very spiritual number so you're definitely being patient with your soulmate you know that this person is coming and this person is coming into union you know that your patience is going to re uh, definitely going to reward you we also have the number 19 rest in rejuvenate reverse so a lot of you you maybe you're overthinking a lot so please take a rest and think about it some of you, you may be done your healing because this is talking about you done your healing and now you're being patient. Now you're waiting for your soulmate to come into union with you. Wow. But you have a faith on universe. The number nine, broken heart. A lot of you, you could be broken hearted right now because your soulmate is definitely not in, in union with you. They are far apart from you. You could be crying and missing this person. You could be really, really overthinking a lot about this person. Let's see what is this. We have number 23, peace. Yeah, universe is saying, some of you, you're mending your heart. You're, you're working on your broken heart. I'm seeing the peace is coming to 2 plus 3, 5, another 5. So you could be seeing a lot of 5, 5 number. I'm seeing the peace. Some of you, you're definitely connecting with your divine, your power. You're connecting with the God, and this is what's giving you the peace. Number 41. And we have the 7th chakra, Archangel, Oriel. Look at this. We have 41 and 41 synchronicities so you could be seeing a lot of synchronicities and maybe mirror numbers 4141 okay so yeah this is the whenever you are think seeing these numbers this mean that uh synchronicities or signs or symbols that's reminding of this person so definitely take a break and pray for that time that so your soul can soulmate or twin flame because the twin flame is also the higher level of soulmate so can come into union with you okay and we also have this seventh chakra okay so intuitively you know that this person is coming you know that, okay? This is something protected by the divine, protected by the God. You don't need to worry. Four plus one, five. You know that this change is coming. We have the number five. Oh my God, another change, orphan. So a lot of you, you could be uh, definitely feeling alone, yearning, a longing for this person. Some of you, you're working on your inner child. Look at this, this broken heart and orphan. Yeah, you're getting out of this feeling like you're not deserving love. Nah, you're definitely getting out of this Um. I would say unrequited love situation. You're healing that. You're healing your heart. Number 36, 
come to the edge. Yeah, this is you here. Look at this. Love is blossoming. You're healing. Your spirit is saying, come on, come into, come on to the edge. Feel it. You know, free yourself from this, this burden, this, this pain. Um, and rest, okay? Just do that. Yeah, you need to do your own work and they need to them they're on. We have number 12, a change in the wind. Yeah, you know that this person is coming. And you also feeling this change. Two plus one, three, yeah. We have two plus nine, breathe. A lot of you, you are definitely breathing right now. Or you need to do breathe here. Nine plus two, eleven. This is your divine counterpart. Obviously, you're going to be in union with. But you definitely, it's, a lot of you, you could be doing yoga, yoga or peace. Or you maybe need to do this work to find your peace in your life. Because you already know that the change is coming. We also have a number one, the yang energy reverse. So yeah, I feel that a lot of you, your masculine energy is not in the power. If you're a feminine watching this, or maybe you are the masculine right now watching this, yang is definitely a masculine energy reverse here. So a lot of you, you need to work on your yang energy. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing that a lot of healing needed here. That's what you need to do. We have 24 time for nap. Yeah. Take rest, okay? Take rest. Breathe. Change in the weed. Peace. Broke, mend this broken heart that you're feeling it. We also have number 50. No place like home. Reverse it. Yeah. So a lot of you, you are you may be in a denial or you may be resisting this action towards your soulmate or partner. They could be trying to reach out to you, but you're not. But I also feel like you're denying somehow. Look at this with the yang and no place like a home. You are denying like this person is not your home. Your soulmate is your home. You, they, they have the key to your heart. You are in this denial like, no, 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 no. This person is not for me. Why? And we have number 43, deep knowing. Yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of you, you definitely need to trust your deep knowing, your intuition. Four, three, four plus three, seven. Another seven. Spirit is guiding you from these things. Spirit is guiding you to where this person like this person is your home. We also have 39, new life. This is you, <laughs> new life. You need to see, you may, you may be ready for fly, you may be ready for change, you're ready, new life. This is here, new beginning. That's what you're asking for. That's what you need to be ready for or prepared for, okay? Yeah, door to spirit, number 32, another five. Connect with the divine, okay? Deep knowing because they're definitely guiding you, showing you. Maybe you need to pay attention to your dreams, pay attention to the signs, what, what the signs are telling you. Okay, this is a confirmation that you're coming into union, but there's something that you're in a denial. A lot of you, my viewers, okay, you need to be positive I'm seeing here because soulmate is coming. You're coming into union with your soulmate. You're already dealing with this person. This person feel like home, but you're, you're not feeling, you're not coming home though. You're not coming home though. You're not feeling it. But universe is telling you this is here. This is your insecurities triggering you. This is what you need to heal. This is what you need to recover. Okay, now let's see. What's your divine masculine, the person who is absent here, or feminine, whatever, the person who is absent here, feeling about you and this relationship, this connection. Let's see. Let's see. What are they doing? Where are they in their life right now, or journey in their life right now? Let's see. Please, please tell me about the person. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> we have the Ace of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Love Abound, Ace of Cups. Their love is flowing. They're watching you, I'm hearing. You can see this um, sun here. I feel like this is solar plexus chakra. This is also uh, the heart chakra because a lot of green here. I'm seeing they're working on their chakra though. They're really, really attractive to you. They know that you are the one for them. We have the Five of Swords, Vena, Loss, Reverse. Yeah, they're, cutting, they're coming out of the conflict. They know that. They have this deep knowing already. Like you are the one. You are their one true love. They're really, really attractive to you. Physically, romantically. We also have just breathe. This is four of swords reverse. Yeah, they're coming out of this hermit mood. Or they were taking, they were took the break from this relationship or not, not in a contact. They're coming out of this, this, this period of break. This period of ghosting maybe. Or not knowing what to know, what to do. We have challenging time. Five of wands reverse. Another five. So they could be... Yeah, something related with the five here. Change. Change is on the horizon, I'm hearing. Yeah, challenging time. Five of wands reverse. They're ready to talk. They don't want to be in conflict anymore. They don't want to fight with you anymore. They don't want to be... They don't want this drama anymore between you and them. Let's see. Let's see how are they feeling and thinking about you, my viewers. Simply love. We have the six of cups reverse. Yeah. They're missing nostalgic memories. Yeah. Simply love. 
they, they are loving themselves now right now they're they're giving this love to themselves yeah they're coming out of this they know that they need to release this conflict and this is they need to work on this they, they need to come and talk to you but first they they should be ready for themselves right so let's see what's more so there could be water sign air sign fire sign we also have the well deserved reward nine of pentacles reverse yeah so there could be some financial issues that's why stopping this person and there could be distance i'm seeing here yeah they maybe feel like they don't deserve your love because they rejected you or they created this this mess we also have success and growth it wants yeah they really want this growth with you they really want to get out of this drama this conflict they really want this success and growth they want to win you though they want this forward movement with you they know that they need to move forward now let's see what is their action what action they are taking next towards you let's see okay we have the detach uh we have number 11 yeah this is a master number this is your twin flame or soulmate divine partner detach reverse here so they definitely having a difficult time to detach themselves they could be detaching right now they're definitely detached from you and disconnection so they can they can work on themselves they can work on their healing this is a libra card so they could be a libra or it could be scorpio i'm hearing we have the choose your battle seven of wands yeah they're definitely choosing their battle they're trying to detach from the peoples from the fights from anything that is not serving them they're standing up on their grounds they know that what do they want they want to fight for this relationship also i'm hearing yeah we also have the control number eight leo energy reverse here yeah they're losing the control and detach from those people that you know controlling them they're they're releasing it and they they want to fight for this they want to choose their battle they're in the decision of what do they want next and the seven of wands to eight of wands they really want this growth we already know that they really want to move forward they don't want to look it back they don't want to look you know to they're definitely releasing something very intense in their life let's see what is the next actions we have daydreams and decisions seven of cups reverse yeah they know that they're not dating anyone because we have a lot of sevens fives so they're not daydreaming and indecisive anymore they know that what do they want they're ready for their battles they're, they want to fight for this and we have the manifest number one reverse yeah they could be feeling like they don't have a control over this situation right now they could be feeling powerless about something in their life right now they could be going through some you know some battles their own battles they could be dealing with third party situation or multiple parties whatever the case is they're feeling powerless in the situation right now but they're coming out of this they know that what do they want they're very clear about their 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 fights their battles and their decisions they they want to choose you i'm hearing because in the normal deck it's it's a seven of cups of so choices yeah they they made their choice they made their mind they choose their battle yeah we have the refusing to see two of swords reverse yeah there's something about that they're coming on to this conclusion yeah three of swords reverse. they're coming out of this toxic pain this isolation this confusion they know what do they want they're very clear and awakened to this relationship already they know that they have this strong connection with you they know that you are their divine feminine so let's see romantically what are they feeling and what's happening in this union what we can expect yeah we have the heart to heart conversation here so they're ready to talk they're coming and with the eight of wands it's also talking about commun communication so this is this is a conversation this is a, a long maybe two hours three hours one hours you're going to you know continuously you're going to talk with each other you're going to express explain are they maybe yeah yes i'm seeing conversations happening communication is happening we have the wedding wow they're ready for commitment this is how they're feeling this is how they're feeling you need to trust that i feel like you're not trusting it you need to trust that they're coming because they still feel this chemistry this vibe and this this fire in themselves passion for you you also have deception yeah they're hiding their true feelings right now they could be going through some separation from someone else if they're married or being with someone else maybe they're separating themselves from those things you are in separation but this person is worth waiting for yeah universe is saying it's worth waiting for trust that this person is coming because this is your soulmate this is your soulmate and we already get the soulmate card in in your reading and from this person too they know that you're their soulmate they know that they can't run away from this relationship they they have this deep knowing they already awakened to this 
and they can't separate themselves from this relationship they can't they can't run away from this love they know that it's soul connection because they're attractive to you again they're very very attractive to you they know that you are the one you are their one flower that they want to be with you right now let's see what angels message is for you for this uh, relationship and then i'm done your reading so we have blessings and abundance i think i should not say anything more here universe is blessing you with this union and with this abundance you know that already this is a very blessed and very abundant relationships you're going to be together no matter what because universe has their own plan yeah wow i said own plan and we have bottom of the deck sacred plan the universe has a sacred plan you don't know you don't need to know anything the universe is planning already behind the scenes just be grateful be blessed and be abundant and feel it like you guys are coming into union you can see that ma feminine and masculine you guys are coming into union on the divine timing look at this it's a behind the scenes it's working it's working it's working universe and all the sources are working but you need to believe on that that trust that this, this person is worth waiting for and you're going to be in union with your soulmate or twin flame so this is your reading i will see you in the next video bye god bless you all